Now, security governance is another term that is, is in the industry. And you know, I feel sorry for a lot of people that they get very confused. In fact, uh, Information Security Magazine asked me to write an article and, uh, about what is 7799, um, you know, what is Octave, what is uh, HIPAA, what, is, what are all these acronyms that are being thrown around because companies these days, the business people, not only do they not necessarily understand technology or the security, but they already have their job. They already have a job and now security is becoming uh, part of their job and it, it could be very complex and they don't necessarily have the time to do all the research and, and live and breathe security like the professionals. So, you know, another thing is what is the security governance? This is another term that, that is um, very subjective to a lot of people. They don't know how to necessarily uh, articulate it. So security governance is kind of, well, it's like uh, corporate governance. Corporate governance means that the board um, and senior management is overseeing and responsible that the organization is running uh, properly, that nobody's cooking the books and, and all that. So security governance is that security is being controlled the, um, and it's being done properly. It's, it's not just in IT. It's, it's a, a board issue. It's a senior management issue. It's uh, at, spread out uh, across the different process owners or the, the uh, business units. So security governance is something that's kind of wishy-washy where some people don't know what it is, but it's it's out in the industry being discussed a lot. And I put together um, an actual article describing security governance. And what I did is instead of use the, the common terminology that's used to explain what this is, I give an example. So when you're looking at security governance, you can look at two different companies and they both have firewalls, they both have um, access control, they both have a security uh, team, they both have uh, a CISO in place. So it seems like they're both the same. They're doing the same amount of work and security, they're performing the same. But that really is not true. When you look closer, you can have company A that actually has a security governance program. And that means that the everybody who is supposed to be involved is involved. The board, senior management, the different process owners. Uh, the other company, it's just an IT. They, they, don't, they don't have the, the uh, security spread out um, and senior management isn't taking it uh, seriously. Uh, another thing is that the executive uh, in, in the company A, the executives are, are setting the stage, they're setting the tone for security. Uh, company B, you have a CISO who has all the, the responsibility and liability, but no support, no funds. And for a long time, and even today, CISOs are commonly the sacrificial lamb um, because the senior management isn't taking responsibility. And, and company A that has security governance, they would understand the business processes. They understand where the security risks are within the business processes. And company B, they haven't documented or looked at the processes. That's a big difference. Um, in company A that has security governance, they hold their people accountable. They hold not only the CISO, but the, the process owners and even the employees. In this other company, they have policies, but they don't ever back them up. So you could see the difference between two different companies. One has a security governance and one doesn't. And another thing with security governance is you have the metrics in place and you're continually trying to improve and you're monitoring. So security governance is really becoming a big thing in the industry because regulations are requiring it. And a lot of people don't understand what it actually it is. It's mean, it means doing the right thing, doing all the things that we're talking about, especially in this domain, um, and uh, being responsible, carrying out due diligence and due care.